Ionic Detox Foot Bath Benefits, Session 4. Okay, well, this is our final session. Just a few short minutes of explanation. On topic number four is the Ionic Detox Foot Bath Benefits. And uh, some of this will be a little bit of information we had in the others, but you know, hopefully it'll make, help make a little more sense now that we've talked about it some. But basically the question is, are there really any benefits for you or for me if we consistently use the ionic detox foot bath treatment? Again, in order to understand the benefits of the foot bath, uh, I'm going to address a couple of other issues first, and hopefully that'll also help to frame our discussion to make a little bit more sense. As I've said earlier, that if you've searched around the internet about this subject, are there really any benefits? We talked about the foot bath itself, does it really work? Uh, those kind of things. If you've looked around the internet, uh, you've probably become painfully aware that there's just a multitude of opinions about this subject. Um, there are websites out there that make claims of the benefits uh, from ionic detoxification that are, quite frankly, beyond belief and uh, that's because they're just not true. Um, and then there are those on the opposing side that claim that nothing happens, that everything is a scam, that it's hocus pocus, that there's no benefits to it. Um, there's just a lot of misrepresentations out there as to the value and to the methods and to the results that a person will experience uh, or may experience if they use the ionic detoxification process. So, um, but we also, again, we have to consider the fact that we live in a society that's vastly opinionated with regards to many areas of life, and there's a deep division. So just because there's conflict and division doesn't mean something's right or wrong. Uh, consider the contrasting opinions of the Democrats and the Republicans, um, as well as the Libertarians. There's opinions that people have if you're a man versus if you're a woman. There's the opinions that you would have displayed if or talked about if you're young versus if you're old. You're just going to see things differently. Um, I'm from Texas, and so I see life in a very different way than probably someone who's from the North from New York or Boston. That to me is considered north. So, uh, so rarely will two groups of individuals having contrasting viewpoints find a way to truly agree on their points of contention. It just, you can argue a lot of times as the old saying in the south to you're blue in the face. So uh, um, legitimately though many of the people that say it's a scam are reacting to the kind of information that is really a distortion of, I, I won't say a distortion of the truth, because many of the things are not true, but it's distorted information. So for those prone to skepticism, there's enough garbage on the net uh, to make one cast their vote on the side of the ionic detox process being fraught with fraud. So, you know, there's some people that just has a bend towards skepticism. So if we could tally the opinions all up, my guess is that the folks on the scam and the hoax side of the discussions would probably outnumber the folks uh, that think that the concept is beneficial. But again, I'm guessing, and I'm only guessing because of having looked through so many of these uh, videos and things that saying that this whole thing's a scam. But lest we forget, uh, years ago, the majority of people thought that the world was flat. So just because there's a lot of things out there saying it's a scam and a hoax doesn't mean it is. Uh, much of, again, if we, we talk back in the very first session, much of the information that's out there conflicts. Uh, and I brought, brought up the uh, idea that some say there's 2,000 pores on the foot, others say there's 4,000. But the truth is, does it really matter? Uh, we, the fact is, it does have a lot of pores, and they're used for sweat glands and such. So, uh, so it is used in in a process of cleansing. I'm not saying that's what this machine 
and, and does. Uh, in other words, I'm not saying it comes out the pores of the foot. I'm just saying that the information conflicts. Um, again, some claim that using the machine will cause the toxins to drain out through the feet. Others say that the ionic process enables the body to utilize the, body, uh, the internal organs uh, to be empowered to get rid of the toxins. That, from the best of, of scientific study that I've done, is what occurs. It simply helps the body to cleanse out. It's very, again, it's very much like taking in uh, good, clean water consistently. Over time, it'll clean, help clean out the toxic or the wastes as well. In other words, drinking. If you drink nothing but Coke, you're going to have a problem. If you drink nothing but coffee, you're going to have a problem. Uh, too much sugar, problem. We need good, clean water. Well, in the uh, ionization process, we're enabling the body to have some negatively charged ions, which work in conjunction with the toxicity to help them be eliminated. So whether it's one or both of the concepts of how things are working, meaning whether it's the machine or whether it's enabling the, the body to do its job, the real issue is to get rid of them, to get rid of the toxicity. So uh, for the moment, let's set the opinions and the conflicting arguments temporarily aside. So let's look at some undeniable facts that we, we know are to be true. First, when any of our organs in the body are o overloaded by the toxins that we take in, our health will suffer. It's just not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So the first thing we, we really want to understand is that excessive toxins, excessive toxicity, is bad. Doesn't mean it's going to happen today, but it's going to happen. I think it was, um, let me think who, I think it was Jim Rohn years ago that said, if you take, and I'm going to erase some of this stuff here we've already covered, but he said if you take a point in time, this is going to be time, and you, two people make different decisions. One is going to eat an apple a day. The other is going to eat a candy bar a day. Well, if you take today, let's say you decided to eat an apple and I decided to eat a candy bar. That's today. What would be the difference in our health tomorrow? Very little. That's right. So in one day, our choice to eat that apple or that candy bar isn't going to have a very big effect. But let's go out a year. So now this is one year later. And here's the person that ate the apple. And here I am having eaten 365 candy bars. At that point, is there going to be a difference? Daggum right there will be. Uh, first of all, excessive weight alone is going to happen here. But then all the sugar and the things it's done by toxifying, in a sense, my body, I'm going to be less healthy than you are. Now, that's just one illustration of how uh, we have to understand things. Uh, thankfully, uh, the body has a tolerance for the damaging chemicals and the things that we encounter on a daily basis. But there are conditions which cause the internal systems to begin to lose the fight, so to speak, if we overload things. You know, I'm not saying if you had a candy bar today and then another one maybe next week and another one here, and so at the end of the year you may have had 20, um, you probably haven't overloaded your body to an extent that you're going to get sick. But if you do it every day, and some people do more, <laughs> uh, they have a I, it never ceases to amaze me if you just go into the typical mini mart in the morning where guys are filling up their cars and you know people are going to work and you see the junk that they take the first part of the morning you know there's a bag of Doritos uh, a 44 ounce or if you're from Texas 
the Big Gulp, I think it's 44 ounces of Coke, you know, some Slim Jims, uh, just, they're just throwing junk into their body. You better just take it out and throw it in the trash. But they put it inside and they end up doing this day after day after day after day and then they wonder why they have problems. So anyway, I'm sorry, that's a side note. Um, uh, another thing that we have besides the fact of what we eat is just age. You know, age is one of those unavoidable issues that we all face. Um, we can see it on the outside and a lot of people try and combat the problem of aging with creams and oils and a whole arsenal of skin products. But not many of us take it to heart that the same thing is occurring inside. Uh, the reason is we don't see it. We don't see things happening inside. We see the age and the wrinkles and the things occurring outside. The hair turning, well, if you got hair, uh, turning different colors, going from nice brown to gray and white and all these things. But rest assured, inside, aging is taking effect. And uh, so using an ionic detox uh, therapy, it's not going to stop aging. But if the process helps the body as it's getting older, as it's aging, to get rid of toxins, whether it's through the feet or by assisting the internal organs to do a better job, what does it matter? The point is we're getting ourselves into a position that the body can do its job that it was designed to do. <clears throat> Another thing is that we tend to have symptoms which slowly start to become noticeable when toxicity builds inside our bodies, again slowly over time. Uh, but there are times when it happens extremely fast. An example uh, to illustrate what I'm trying to say would be fumes from a car exhaust. If you're waiting for a light to change, let's say you're sitting in an intersection and you're waiting for that light to change, sometimes my wife will roll up the window because she can smell the fumes coming in from the car next to us. Uh, it's just idling, but you can smell it. Our bodies can deal with that, with a little bit of that and it will just get rid of the fumes we breathe if it is in an overload condition. But you take and put yourself into an enclosed garage and you turn the car on, you're gonna die because the body cannot overcome the toxic overload that it finds itself in. So consider the difference in the presence of toxins we all encounter in today's world versus the world that uh, was around 50 years ago. If you look at the pollution that exists in our lakes today and you think about the toxins in the foods that we eat and even in the clothes we wear, it's just, it's just everywhere. And in addition to all of that, our bodies are even now being invaded by toxic electromagnetic energy or EMF. Uh, we know that uh, they've been able to take uh, using some of the new technology that's out there and you can take a cell phone and put it next to parts of your body and then move it away and they can take imaging from that part and see that there's things that have, that have, been, uh, things that have been done to the flesh. I'm not saying it, it, I don't know all the things it caused, but I know one thing is that you put enough of that around you and you're, uh, you're not helping yourself, that's, that's for sure. Um, you know, and if you, uh, another thing to take it a little bit further is just think about what would happen if there was a microwave oven and you placed an animal in it and turned it on. The energy, the, the frequencies that would be going into that, uh, it wouldn't have to touch anything or eat anything or even breathe anything, but just the waves that would be produced by the oven would enter the animal and if it were in there long enough, it would kill it. Uh, at any rate, health damaging toxins, are, they're just everywhere and we have to deal with this issue wherever it's coming from. It's been said by some in the Main Street health industry that your body should be able to take care of itself uh, without the aid of devices like the ionic detox machine. And that's true, it should be, if it wasn't being bombarded by so much junk, you know, like the guys eating uh, the Slim Jims and the Big Gulps, drinking the Big Gulps. and bags of Doritos and uh, we were in Walmart the other day and they had these boxes of 
or uh, bags of popcorn. <sighs> it, it didn't even look like popcorn. I don't know. It looked like it was made out of foam, but you know, it's out there. Anyway, um, but due to the toxic overloads again that we face in today's world, our body is being pushed past the max, not just to it, but past it. And we simply have to deal with the excessive environmental issues uh, that have never existed before for us. So whether the professionals are convinced or not, or whether there's a consensus on the benefits we can expect from a device, we should be able to agree on the, to agree on the fact that we need to do anything and everything that we can to aid and to assist our bodies in their fight against toxic overload. An ionic machine isn't going to right or correct a severe wrong that may be in the body, it, that may be too far along. Uh, just like deciding to drink eight glasses of water a day isn't going to reverse years of drinking carbonated drinks or seldom, if ever, drinking water. In other words, if, you, if you've been drinking um, Coke, like I did for years, um, in my teen years, I drank about six of the 16 ounce Dr. Peppers a day. Um, well, let's say I did that for two or three years, and then one day I decide, ah, I'm going to stop that, I'm going to drink some water, and I down eight glasses of water on a Monday. Is that going to reverse everything that's been building up over the years? No, it's like here, it's starting something that's good, but then what has to happen is we have to stop doing the bad or reduce it significantly, start doing the good or increasing it, and then what that's going to do? It's going to end up helping us in the long term when we get down here a year, two years, three years to not have the same issues. Um, so ionic treatments, it, it's not going to fix everything uh, that you might do to yourself uh, if you're simply being irresponsible, uh, but it's going to help. It's not a, I can do anything I want and still be healthy machine. They don't make them. Even with years ago, we used to, the scientists were touting that one day you'd be able to take a pill and whatever pill you took, it would solve a problem. Uh, well, now we're seeing that one pill creates another problem and then they give you another pill to fix that problem. One of the worst things that happened to my grandmother is that she turned 65 and she began the process of going on Medicare. She'd never done that in her life. They couldn't afford it, and uh, but she was able to go to a doctor. Well, you know, when you're 65, there's things that are wrong. And so the doctor said, well, let's put you on this. They got her on this one medication. That caused another deal. Well, let's, let's do something to counter that. And before you know it, she was on eight or 10 medications. And within about a year and a half, she had deteriorated so much um, just from all the, the overload stuff. They had to start taking her off of things. So uh, at any rate, that's a, uh, no charge for that. So uh, the machine is not something that allows you to live anything any way you want and, quote, get away with it. You can't do that. But over time, just like reducing carbonated sugary drinks and increasing the intake of good water, is going to start to aid the body in its efforts to maintain good health. That's just without question. So help your body help itself. Remember Jerry Maguire, let help me help you. Well, anyway, help your body help itself uh, by using an ionic detox machine to empower the internal organs to eliminate the toxins that they're fighting to get rid of every day in your life. The battles we all face with pollution is not going to go away. This thing's going to happen. So take advantage of the technologies that's available to help you to get and to stay as healthy as possible. It's one of the, the machine is one of the easiest and the safest and relaxing things you can do. It's not going to allow you to neglect doing the other things you should be doing, like exercising and eating right and avoiding chemicals in the makeup, in your hair products, and all the rest of the things. You know, think through, read some of the labels of the things that you're going to put into the body. Uh, but surely, you do want to give your body 
some assistance in helping it to do what it wants to do anyway, and that is to stay healthy and alive. So I hope these few sessions have helped you to see that there's issues with um, conflicting information, but don't let that be a deterrent to do what you can to help yourself to be healthy and to live longer and to live uh, lives that, that you're not in pain all the time. And uh, there's some things you can't really avoid. Aging is one of them, but you can avoid being overly uh, toxic. Thank you very much. Ionic Detox Foot Bath Benefits Session 4